Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm the Tim Eister and welcome back to Dunswell. Here we are overlooking the entire city. It's not very often that I'll zoom out this far so you guys can see the entire city. So if you just want to pause for a second and gaze at the magnificence of Dunswell, feel free to do so. But in this episode, there's a couple of things that I would like to get done. Uh, so eventually, uh, well, really like my main goal right now is to build the uh, the nature park that's going to be on the end of this peninsula here but before i can do that i just want to address a couple of issues that you guys brought up in the last episode and one of which is over here look at these people getting sick because of the noise pollution i didn't really realize at the time but uh do, 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 where is noise pollution right here this uh, expo center here, look at the noise pollution it creates, and it's causing all of these people to become sick. Uh, well, apparently these people have just been cured. But anyways, uh, for as long as this building is going to be right next to some residential zoning, we're going to have people complaining of noise. So, I will be forced to dezone this area, and I'm just going to simply rezone it with uh, some high-density commercial. Because our demand, I mean, it's not super high right now, but we could place a little bit more commercial over here. So, like, this whole zone will be reserved for commercial. Now, that is the number one thing that I wanted to cover. The second thing, um, I just want to take a look at my university here. So, we are struggling a little bit with students. Um, for whatever reason, I'm just not getting the student capacity I'm looking for. I don't know why our population is ever increasing. Well, it's kind of decreasing right now, but um, for some reason we have like a large population, you know, city skylines wise, you know, 65,000 or 64,000 people is quite a bit. Um, I think there should be more than enough people to support this university campus, especially since I've closed down all of the other universities in town. So I think this is just like a weird quirk um, that we'll have to get through. But the main concern really is campus attractiveness. And for some reason, this has just peaked at 810. I don't know why, but it's not able to go much higher. Uh, but I think we can easily get around that by enacting a universal education policy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And what this does, it increases campus attractiveness by 20%. It also increases in, um, it increases student happiness, but I no longer make any tuition fees. So uh, right now I'm making about 8,000 in tuition fees. Oh my God, this really dropped down to zero. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, that's, uh, I didn't know that was possible. I did not know that a university could actually drop down to a lower level. Okay, well, we got to do this quick then. Um, so I'm going to enact free tuition. So we're going to lose some income, but it's okay. I mean, we're going to lose out on like $8,000 or whatever it was. So, um, you know, we're making quite a bit of money right now. We have a huge balance in the bank. So I'm not too worried, even if we do start to lose some money. But uh, look at that, instantly, boom, campus attractiveness is up by like 150 units or whatever you want to call it. So hopefully this is going to help out with students. Oh my god, this is not good. I'm hoping that's going to help out. I don't know why this is like this entire city building um, experience. I've always had trouble keeping the student count up which is weird. I, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, is there anything else that we could do to increase the amount of students that's coming here? Maybe just the fact that I enacted this universal education policy that might help out. What else can we enact here that I didn't consider? The varsity team gives out free fan merchandise to the fans during matches. Okay, so that'll just increase our odds of winning by 7%. Might as well enact that because it only costs 180 a week. Uh, advertise varsity sports matches throughout the city to have more visitors in the arenas increases the amount of visitors by 20%. Yeah, might as well do that. It doesn't cost a whole lot. I don't know what that's going to do to affect our student count. Uh, maybe we can check our statistics, see what's going on here. University. 
Okay, see, that's weird because we have a shortage of um, uh, university availability, but I think that's just because... Is, are we like... Do we not have enough capacity? Hold on, let's check. Um, oh yeah, look at that. Student capacity, 780 out of 4,624. Hmm. Yeah, to be honest, guys, I don't know what to do. If, if anybody could leave a comment on how to get more students into the university, let me know. Because, like, I don't know why our student count is just dropping off. Look at that. We're down a level. Our campus is now functioning at a level two just because of uh, the lack of students. And look at that. It's still going down. What's causing this? This is so weird. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, we're losing a ton of money now, but it's okay. We can we can live for quite a while um, with losing money. It's it's not a terrible situation. Uh, okay, so anyway, I'll leave that up to you guys to provide me with an explanation. What can I do to increase our student count? And in the meantime, uh, what I want to work on is this area over here. I want to develop this part of town before starting the park. So, uh, I'm not sure where the park entrances are going to be, but I think the main entrances, uh, the main entrance for the park is going to be right over here in this, uh, this empty space. So I'm going to branch off a road and then create like a sort of nice park area here. I'm going to place down some tennis courts and all sorts of fun stuff. And then the rest of the park is going to be a bunch of trails and there'll be a variety of secondary entrances. And the reason why I placed down these streets here and these little things uh, here and there is I just wanted to fill in some spots. Um, just, I don't know, I, I just wanted there to be a nice neighborhood over here in this uh, flat land. So let's go ahead and start developing this zone. And um, actually, before I get too far into this, one thing that I'm, I've considered as well so the reason why uh, I placed down industrial roads over here is I wanted there to be industries in here. It, it's honestly, this is more aesthetic than anything else. Why I wanted to place industries over here, but I didn't feel like this was a good place to uh, put down some houses and I wanted there to be stuff here just as a filler. And I thought industries would be the best thing to place down. Uh, but what's happening is Right now, this isn't very efficient for the products being produced in these industries to make their way out of town. So they either have to drive through these residential neighborhoods, um, one of the neighborhoods being Willow Heights, which is a very high-end neighborhood. You know, this is not ideal. We don't want trucks running through those neighborhoods 24 seven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another interchange that will connect up to this street here going right under the bridge. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get started on that. I think I'm just gonna do like a, a half clover leaf kind of thing. Not very complicated. I may have to destroy some buildings that are close to here, but it shouldn't be too bad. So let's go ahead and do that. I think I'm just gonna turn on anarchy to make my life a little bit easier. Let's go and do something like this. All right, and then I'll have another street. Ooh, this might be a little tight. I may have to destroy these neighborhoods, actually. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. So then this street will come up like this and then connect up to the highway like so. And you know what? That's not too bad. I'll just have to use move it to adjust a little bit of these roads. I'll just slope this down. And then same thing over here. Slope. Oh, didn't really do anything, but that's okay. There. Well, you know what? That's actually not too bad. All right, what about, oh shoot, I broke the, uh, this power line connection here, but I don't think it mattered really because 
the connection was still good. So I'm just gonna raise this to five meters and then uh, connect this up like that. Does that work? I don't know, I feel like this, this tower is a little low. Five meters and then back down to zero. Oh, look at that, and this building just got upgraded too. And there, I don't really want a building to be in the middle. Okay, so we got half of the interchange done and I'm actually quite satisfied how this turned out. It looks nice. Uh, everything's heading the right way. Yep, looks good. All right, and the second part of this interchange will connect up to this street here, which, hmm. Yeah, I think that's all right. <gasps> oh, geez, okay. We're gonna have to provide these guys some power. And I think, yeah, some water as well. Okay, let's just do water real quick. There we are. And then for power, I think I'm just gonna run a temporary line right over here, just at least so we can get started. Which was kind of dumb because now I have to place my, uh, my exits and entrances, which may get in the way, but it's okay. Construction a bit easier. There we go. Holy crap, that actually looks not half bad. And then what I'll do here is I'll just plop down a couple of stores, you know, just a little retail shops here and there. And then some more houses along this street. And there we go. And I think I'm gonna make another secondary entrance to the park right over here along this street. You know, it would just create better living conditions for these folks here, you know, they'll have nice access to a park. But yeah, so far so good, all right. And another thing too guys that I'll mention is uh, whenever I'm building up these neighborhoods, what I've been doing off camera for the last little while is I'll go into my tree brush I'll reduce the strength to like 0.5 and then I'll put my brush to like a decent size and I'll just kind of fill in some trees. And then I find it just fills in a lot of the empty spaces and then makes things just look a little bit better. It makes it look more Pacific Northwest-esque because uh, that's one thing that I've noticed about like Portland, Oregon and Seattle and Vancouver is their cities are like super treed in, I find, compared to a lot of other places, more like out east and such. Um, they tend to like just keep trees around uh, a lot more than other cities. So that's just an observation that I made. So anyway, I like to incorporate that in these cities here. All right, so there we have it. There we have it. We have this nice little neighborhood that's all set up. Uh, Hemlock Heights is doing pretty well. And we don't have everything upgraded to the max yet, but we're getting there. 
you know, once we uh, place down the park, I think it's really not going to take long until we get some luxurious high rises coming up here. Look at that. We already have one that's sprawled up here. This part is slowly but surely getting there too over in this little, uh, this little key area. But anyways, that is that for this part. I'm just going to zoom in to check on the university once again to see how that's going. Wow, we're still struggling quite a bit. Uh, but at least the academic works and the campus attractiveness have been taken care of. So anyway, I'll let you guys help me out on that. Um, over here, it's kind of the same situation. I'm thinking maybe I should replace these lower density homes with high density. It would just look a little bit more realistic, probably. That's one thing that I was considering. I think I'm just going to do that right now. I'm just going to wreck this whole neighborhood and then convert this to high density. You know, because it's so close to downtown, I think it's just bit more realistic to have this as high density residential it'll make things look a little nicer too a nice transition from the high rises down to the low rises all right so um i don't know why nothing is building over here despite having a pretty high industrial demand well not really high i wouldn't say but there is something maybe i should just do like an office park over here Oh yeah, you know what I should do? Never mind. This isn't going to be industries at all. Let me go check in uh, my unique buildings. I think there's a couple of them that may look really, really cool, like a semiconductor plant. A semiconductor plant might look really nice here. I don't know if it'll fit very well, though. Probably won't, unless I place it kind of sideways, but then this street's kind of in a weird spot. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything else that I could maybe place down. Maybe Robotics Institute? Yeah, this would fit nicely here. Or a Research Center. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do here. This is going to be like a sort of Silicon Valley in Dunswell. Yeah, this looks a lot neater, I find, than some dirty industries. So what I'll do next is... I'm still going to keep the industrial roads, though. I find they look kind of cool. What I'll do is place down a little piece of road here, and I'm going to place down a robotics institute. Just like so. And this thing looks like an entire campus. And then I noticed there's a couple of other buildings as well. I don't know if we can sort of cram something else in here. Maybe not. Actually, yes, we can. If I go into my education menu. Look at that. Faculty. There. And then uh, just for fun, maybe I'll just fill in these empty spaces with some small offices. All right, and as far as power goes, there's not much we can do to connect these two. Um, actually, once these houses build and then this office building, it'll probably connect these two locations. Oh, shoot, is this not part of a zone? Oh, oh, oh geez, this is not part of a zone at all. Um, all right, well, I think I'm just gonna agglomerate or amalgamate, I think would be the more appropriate uh, term for this. I think I'm just gonna amalgamate this entire section of town into Willow Heights. There we are. Wow, this looks cool. If you're coming down the highway or something, you'll just see these massive structures coming out of the trees. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Oh, and I gotta change this to vanilla style to get rid of these European buildings. 
There, all right. Well, that's done. We've got some really interesting stuff done this episode, guys. So far, it's not going to be a, a very huge episode. I promise you guys, next episode, I will be starting the park. This, like, the last couple of episodes have been uh, just kind of generic leading up into the park. But I think next episode is the official uh, launch of the park. Now, um, there's another thing that I'm just thinking of as well. Um, I'm going to go on to check on Brightwood to see what's going on over here. Things look to be going okay, except the big fire that's going on here. But luckily we have all the services that we need. What about our metro station? 293 passengers. So it is functioning. There is a lot of people using it, despite it being super far, which is a good thing. Um... I don't want to start building the coastline in this town just yet. I want to feature an entire episode on building up Brightwood's coastline. A lot of you have mentioned that I should build a ferry terminal over on this side. And this, this was kind of always my intention anyways. Uh, but I wanted to dedicate an entire episode on creating coastline. So we'll have a, uh, a ferry service going from downtown to over here. And I'm, I'm fairly confident that's going to be used quite a bit just because of, uh, you know, these two locations here being quite populous. Uh, okay, well, guys, I think I'm just gonna end things now. Oh, no. Oh, that's kind of a shame that that building went away. I liked the building that was there before. Anyways. So, yeah, I'm gonna end the episode right now. Um, forgive me if you thought this may have been a little disorganized and boring, but it was necessary. You know, I didn't want to do too much work off camera to get ready for the park. I wanted to showcase all the little nitty gritty stuff that has to be done. So, next episode, we'll start on the park, and I'm thinking it's probably gonna be a multi part. Uh, it, it, like the park is going to span multiple episodes. It's not going to be a one episode thing because it's just so massive. There's going to be a ton of different things going on in this park. It's going to be the city's largest nature park. Probably, I'm thinking. There might be some bigger ones over here in the mountains, though. I might make a national park or something. Eventually, we got some nice, uh, some nice switchback roads going up the mountain here, so... Anyways, we might be able to do something over there eventually once we unlock the at least 25 tiles mod, if not 81 tiles. Um, so anyways, guys, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. So I thank you so much for watching. And as usual, don't forget to leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. And until the next episode, take care. Oh yeah, and I'm just noticing now, guys, I don't know why, I always forget to fix these exits when I make them. There. This is better. <laughs> so, the reason why I always build these backwards is I find it's just easier to start building these, uh, like, these round exits, um, starting from the actual highway. It just makes it a little bit easier. Oh, I like this building. Nice, uh, fast food restaurant right here in between the interchange. So anyways, um, yeah, this exit is corrected, and we're good to go. So this entire interchange is all set. Anyways, take care, guys.